Babe. Yes? I'm starving. What do you want to eat? I don't know. All the options around here seem pretty unhealthy. And we just did a cheat day when we got here to Austin. Hmm, you're right. It's pretty tough when you're not at home to cook. Yeah, you either got to bend the rules of a low-carb lifestyle or just fork up the bread to stay on the straight and narrow. I guess we have to eat gelato and pizza for lunch. Yeah, exactly. What? No, nice <laughs> try. I have an idea. There's a super target in South Austin. Why don't we challenge ourselves a little bit? I think I see where this is going. Yeah, let's see if we can stay low carb and save a little money all while shopping at our favorite store. Let's get six meals that we can prep easily in under 30 minutes. I love it. Sounds like a fun challenge. Target hop? Target, target hop. hop. Hello, Hoppers, it's Eminem again. Your favorite couple next door. Come along with us as we entertain, discover, and explore. At your local Target store. This week, we are in South Austin, Texas, looking to stay on track and on budget while we travel. But don't you get derailed. Be sure to hop on the like button. It really helps out our young channel. Oh, and always share with savvy shoppers like you. This Target is clearly on human growth hormones. What in tarnation? Are you just saying that because we're in the South? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this place is massive. I see that they have the traditional brick building fascia on both entrances and the outside colors have been updated, but the Target circles are still red. You think that could be a regional thing, babe? Nah, we saw that it had been updated on a lot of stores while we were in California. It just must be taking some time. A lot of people don't know this, but there are 239 super targets in the nation, and they're about 53% bigger than a normal Target store on average. Hmm, interesting. It'll be nice to take a look at the deli, the meat department, and the freezer section. But first, coffee. coffee. Let's get two of our signature Target Hop drinks. Orange mocha frappe. Huh? Yeah, huh? Uh, you mean two venti americanos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what did I say? Cheers, babe. Now let's look and see if we can knock out this challenge. Babe, we need to feed two people two meals a day for three days. If we need a third meal, then we can go ahead and eat out. We're going to assume that oil, butter, and seasonings are already at home. This is just the main ingredients. The second catch is we only have $60. I mean, seems reasonable. I like it, and I think it's doable. The dishes we have chosen are... Gelato! <laughs> oh my god, get out of here, no. <laughs> Gelato isn't keto? It's milk and eggs and <laughs> sugar. And sugar's bad, and only Aww. for cheat days. <laughs> the three midday meals are asparagus and egg, mahi-mahi salad, and a shrimp, bacon, and egg salad. And the evening meals are lettuce wrap burgers, cauliflower fried rice, and black. Huh? You know, black, black, black. Uh, I am offended that you think I would know what blat is. B-L-A-T. It's bacon, lettuce, avocado, and tomato. Oh, that sounds delicious. I was thinking of making them with mozzarella instead of tomato. Oh, blam. <laughs> good job, babe. I was thinking that it was something worse. Yeah, they're good. I learned about them when I was stuck in the mine trap from Beelzebub. Huh? huh? I'll tell you later. Oh, boy, please don't. Let's start with the produce, babe. Yes, lettuce. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we have to stretch this out over three days, and we have several dishes that call for lettuce. So I think we can go with the romaine instead of the iceberg. Good call, love. The romaine is going to have a different weight to it as well. We'll do our best to eat clean, so getting the organic version of foods is a must. Because, well, do you want to say it? We bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Our friends at Good and Gather have this three pack. There is another one I see from Revel, but these are already taken off the stock. They are organic though, but let's grab the three pack bit. Since we're already in the area, I'll grab tomatoes. Let's see what our options are. Nothing canned or jarred, as close to the vine as we can get it. These are some big tomatoes, and again, they're organic. They're non-GMO, and we can use them in the salad, the black, and on the burgers. These are a no-brainer. Organic avocados under $5, or the single avocados for less than a dollar each? These are organic and enough come in a bag to cover our three-day challenge. Avocados are a good source of healthy fat. It increases brain function, and they go good on just about anything. 
or all by themselves. Good pick, mama. Avocado. <laughs> Maybe enough coffee for you. <laughs> we can grab the green onions too, babe. We really only have one choice, but these are darn delicious. They really add texture and bite to the dishes we are making, as well as a little bit of color. We could choose a white or a red onion, but since we aren't in our own kitchen, we're gonna go with the option that's not only a little easier to prep, but also a little easier to use. Now, more of the good stuff. I love asparagus, and I cook them like they're pot stickers. Hmm, how do you mean, babe? I steam them or maybe boil them, and then I pan sear them for a little extra flavor and color. Mmm, drizzle a little EVOO and salt, and you have a winner. And this is the only option that isn't bagged in a freezer, so we can keep it moving. The cauliflower is a bit hard to find sometimes. I found it. Thanks, babe. We just gotta rice this up in the machine that rices stuff up. The uh, um, food processor? Topic. Yeah, that. Um, I'll just place these right here. Actually, babe, like you mentioned, it would be a lot to rice cauliflower in an unfamiliar kitchen. But these are good and gather. <laughs> so is this. <gasps> My word. They have an organic frozen rice cauliflower that you can steam right in the bag. Okay. It can't get any easier than that. Let's give it a try, babe. I know you said we won't be using mozzarella to make the blam, but I do think we can make good use of it on the burger and in the salad. My baby. What? Oh, I'm just proud to call you mine. Aw, babe. Now, we do have an option here. Fresh or shredded? I'm gonna say shredded. It keeps a little better and we can ration it out more evenly. It may be a little tricky using it on top of a burger. But once it melts, it won't matter. Plus, we won't be using any type of bread and we can enjoy the burgers with a lot of lettuce. Mm -hmm. Let's grab some eggies, one of my faves. We only need enough for three days. I mean, we've gone through a whole carton of eggs in no time, babe. This 12er shouldn't be a problem at all. Except we want to stay under budget and we only want enough for the stay, reducing our waste. That's a good call. I'll put these down and grab the baby eggs. Huh? These. Oh, you mean the half dozen? Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I don't speak French anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Now we are talking one of my favorites, the chicken wing of the sea, the <laughs> shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. <laughs> we get these all the time, another staple in our home. Yeah, we always get the wild caught and we always burn through these pretty quick. I think the jumbo raw are the way to go. Like you said, wild caught, but I also think it would be nice to have them peeled. That's a good call. Makes life easier for everyone. I just can't believe the price on these, babe. Look. Yeah, when we got these from the food that was really complete store. Oh, you mean whole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were priced upwards of $30. Wow, that is a huge I savings. I know, right? Yeah, we were paying that much? Yeah, you're bougier than you know. <laughs> <laughs> Since we are already in the ocean, let's dive a little deeper and fish out some mahi-mahi. <laughs> Uh, let's both agree to stop. <laughs> you didn't like that? No, no one likes that. <laughs> <laughs> we literally have this one choice and thank goodness it's wild caught. Outstanding. These are skinless, boneless fillets, so they are ready to drop into the pan. A good searing on these and we'll be going to the deep you end. You agreed to stop. That is so fun. <laughs> Plenty of bacon options. We are not at a loss here. <laughs> they actually have some great selections though. I really like the Hormel Black label. Good flavor. Gotta read the labels though, babe. It may be good, but this Applegate bacon is nitrate free with no antibiotics and no sugar. Oh, good catch. What would I do without you, mama? Gain it back 105 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Applegate bacon, you're coming with us for under $7. Wow, babe, we got a lot, and we haven't even left the grocery area yet. I really like this Super Target business. Yeah, it's really cool. You know what else is cool? Subscribing if you find any value added from our little mini sitcom here. It really helps us grow. And leave a comment. We promise to personally get back to you, so don't be cold. <laughs> <laughs> have to stop. Where's the beef? <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, 
Babe, you can just use the app to find the beef. Ah, you're ridiculous. <laughs> All beef isn't created equal. There are the most options here. And the cool thing is, most of them are pretty great. Yeah, but we highly recommend getting grass-fed, grass-finished beef for your meat choices. And a little on the fattier side, add so much more flavor. And those healthy fats will keep you operating at high comedy levels like us. Good thing Good & Gather has exactly what we need, but that's not even the crazy part. Oh really? What is? The price. Oh, mm. zing. Bazinga. <laughs> Looks like we got what we came for, love. Yes, my heart. Let's go over to self-checkout so we can tally up and see how we did. Yeah, because a few of your bougie choices may have put us over the line. My bougie choices? <laughs> no time to explain. Uh, the line is opened up. Let's mm -hmm. go. Babe, looks like we just made it under budget. Yeah, and that includes a couple of corners that we were not willing to cut. Who is this we? At any rate, <laughs> <laughs> looks like we made it to the end of this hop. Be sure to click here if you want to get with the season. And here if you want to come along with us on all of our adventures. Thanks. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. It's just a baby. It's just a baby. Hi, hi, baby. It's a baby.